All right, everyone, uh, big news out of Ford right now. We do have some 2023 models open um, currently. You know, as of, uh, as of last week, we do have quite a few vehicles open. Um, so right now we do have the Bronco Sport, the Edge, the Expedition, the Explorer, the F-150, the Mustang Mach-E, that's a big one, the Ranger, the Transit Connect and the Transit. All of those are available right now uh, to order. Uh, some changes that we have coming. So we have the Bronco Sport that's available. Uh, the Bronco Sport has added two new uh, models to the lineup, which is the Heritage and the Heritage Limited. And they've also added uh, quite a few colors and quite a few packages with it. So looking at all your options, you do have that Heritage Edition and the Heritage Limited. So when you look at the model lineup, you are going to have your base, your Big Bend, the Heritage, the Outer Banks, the Badlands, and the Heritage Limited. Um, so we, we went from uh, four to six, and uh, we added quite a bit to them. Uh, looking at the packages available, you do have that Black Diamond off-road package, which is only going to be available on the Big Bend and the Outer Banks. So if you think about building a uh, Bronco Sport to order, uh, you know, you can think about adding that Black Diamond off-road package. You do have the Heritage Convenience package, which is only available in the Heritage trim level. You have the Journey package. Now that's standard on the Heritage Limited series only. And then you have a premium package. Uh, it's for the Badlands. Um, it's, it's now going to include the memory driver seats and the uh, memory side mirrors. Uh, some exterior color changes that we're going to have to the Bronco Sport. We have the Atlas Blue being added, Eruption Green, Peak Blue Metallic, Robin's Egg Blue, and Yellowstone Metallic. Uh, they are eliminating two colors for 23. It's going to be Bronze Smoke Metallic and um, Blue Velocity Blue Metallic. Um, as far as any other changes, uh, the only thing that they are going to remove on these vehicles for all options are going to be that 4G uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. They're going to give you a credit on that um, and maybe add it in the future. Going down the list there, we do have the Edge. Uh, not a lot of changes to the Edge. Uh, there was talks of getting rid of the Edge, uh, but here we are. We're ordering 23 Edges. Um, you still have the same model lineup, the SE, the SEL, the ST line, the titanium, and the ST. Uh, there's only three things added to it. We do have the SEL convenience package. You do have the ST interior package that's only available on the 401 AST, um, but it's ST appearance package. And then you have the titanium elite package uh, has a couple new changes to the interior seat patterns. Looking at the 23 Expedition, we do have the model lineup of the XL slash STX, the XLT, the Timberline, the Limited, the King Ranch, and the uh, Platinum. As we look at some changes being added to the vehicle, as far as model lineup, there's no changes. Um, and going across, um, there's only a couple things coming off of the vehicle uh, due to uh, not being able to get chips or, or not having things available, such as the auto start stop. I know a lot of people will be happy about that, but yeah, auto start stop is gone. And uh, the multi uh, contour seats, uh, they are limited availability. So uh, make sure that those can be ordered. But even if we do order them, who knows if we can keep them on the vehicle. Uh, looking at the Explorer, uh, looks like we still have the same model lineup. They did add the uh, hybrid for the Platinums. So you have a base, an XLT, an ST line, the Timberline, the Limited and Limited Hybrid, ST, King Ranch, and Platinum slash Platinum Hybrid. Um, there were a few new packages added to the Explorer for 23. So you have the Limited Technology Package. You do have the premium technology package, the ST appearance package. Um, you do have the Timberline technology package and the XLT technology package. Um, you know, they're, they made it available for a few uh, more of the equipment groups on each of those trims. Now you do have um, a couple exterior colors. It doesn't look like any were removed here, but you do have a few new ones. So uh, actually, oh, well, there is one removed here. So our new exterior color is going to be jewel red metallic. 
and they're removing burgundy velvet metallic. So no longer burgundy and we're adding jewel red. Uh, excited to kind of see what some of these new colors are going to look like here in 23. Uh, moving on to the F-150, we do have the XL, the XLT, the Lariat, the King Ranch, the Platinum, the Limited, the Tremor, and the Raptor. Um, I know we have the Raptor R and all those new options going to be on these vehicles. Um, so if you take a look here, new equipment groups added, we do have uh, the Raptor Equipment Group 802A, uh, 801A is now standard. So it used to be at 800A. Uh, so now your 802A is a new trim level added to it. Um, there is no longer a 100A. So there's no longer a base XL. Uh, it's going to be a 101A or higher. Uh, so, so now some of those features that used to be an upgrade are going to be standard and there is no lower uh, trim level. That's probably why we're going to see this price increase on the F-150s. Um, you have a Tremor equipment group. Uh, so for the Tremor, we're not going to have a 400A anymore. You're going to only see the 401A and 402A. Same for Lariats. They got rid of the 500A. It's only going to be 501 and 502. Um, they did add two packages. We have the Heritage Edition package. It's only available on the XLT. And the uh, Rattler package, which is only available on the XL. Um, looking at exterior colors, um, we do have Area 51. We have Avalanche. Uh, we have a new gray. And a uh, Hot Pepper Red Metallic is new and added. They are removing Space White, which is kind of upsetting. I was a big fan of the Space White. And the Smoked Quartz, uh, they're getting rid of. Um, as far as exterior features, the Raptor R uh, is going to be coming out for that Raptor uh, model, and it's going to have, you know, R badging. Uh, one cool thing, though, they are with the um, Tremor package. It's going to be standard with the 5.0 V8 engine instead of the uh, 3.5, and it's going to be standard with the 36-gallon um, extended range fuel tank uh, XLs. Here's one thing that's coming off of the XL product line. Uh, XLs will no longer be able to get the 2.0 kilowatt pro power on board um, for the XL. Um, so that's that's one little change there. Now let's take a look here at the Ranger. As far as the Ranger, we still have the XL, the XLT, and the Lariat. Um, there are some packages added, like the Splash Jungle Edition package. I know they came out with a lot of these Splash packages in 22. Obviously, it was a rough year for uh, you know all manufacturers. So they didn't come out with a lot of them. We saw a couple here on the lot. Um, but they came out with the Jungle Edition package. Uh, it's limited availability. I'm assuming that's going to be order only. Uh, I don't think we'll get any of those in stock. Um, now you have the Bed Utility package, the STX Appearance package, and the XL Chrome Appearance package. As far as exterior colors, we have a new gray, Eruption Green. Um, the Eruption Green does require the Splash Jungle Edition package, though. As far as colors were removed, they got rid of Avalanche Gray, Cyber Orange, Desert Sand, and Forged Green Metallic. Uh, unfortunately, you know, they got rid of a couple nice colors there, like the Avalanche and Desert Sand. Those were really nice colors. Um, they put them on Splash Package vehicles, uh, which is upsetting. I think they should just move those in. And put them as standard colors. You do also have um, the Transit Connect, the Transit, and the Mach E available. Um, those are big vehicles. I would uh, definitely suggest coming in looking at the Mach E's, uh, as those I'm pretty sure the order banks are going to fill up super quick on those. Uh, you will have the Transit Connect and the Transit. If you need those for the end of the year, uh, companies or anyone who needs those coming up for the the fourth quarter. Order them now. If you don't order them now, you will not get them in time for the end of the year spending that you need to do in those businesses. Uh, and that goes for all the product lines. I mean, if you're, you need trucks or anything like that, um, definitely order everything as soon as possible. A couple vehicles that we are waiting on still is the Bronco, the EcoSport, the Escape, uh, Super Duties, Maverick, and Mustang. All of those are currently closed. Uh, it's looking like Broncos will be in September. Escape is going to be in September, Super Duties October, Maverick September, and Mustang September. Uh, I will do an update video as far as all of those when they come out. But right now, just to reiterate, we do have Bronco Sports, Edge, 
Expedition, Explorer, F-150, Mach-E, Ranger, Transit Connect, and Transit. Are those all available to order right now? Uh, come in, let's uh, set something up for you and, and get these ordered.